uh, meeting of the redevelopment authority will come to order uh, and uh, let's identify who all is here. I see um, staff, I see Chad, and then Steve Hartman, Amy Horst, Trey Mitchell, um, Dave Gass, uh, James Owen, and David Soxy. Is that it? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, Steve Harrison is there. I don't know if you heard him. Uh, Bert, uh, Steve Harrison's online. I'm here. Steve. Okay, Steve. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the meeting will come to order and let us <coughs> pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Um, Roberta, Roberta, if I, what, if I can just interject, Mayor Vandersteen just joined us in the chambers as well. Perfect. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Um, you've seen the agenda. Do we have any conflict of interest with the items and the businesses on the agenda? Okay. Hearing none, let's move on. Uh, the minutes from the July 22nd meeting, Chair will entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by Harrison, seconded by Gass. Any additions, corrections? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Chair aye. Votes. Opposed, motion carries. Okay, uh, first item on the agenda, and um, we have a discussion of uh, the black pig and possible action uh, on behalf of catering, culinary, art. And I see Catherine Hurry. Is that Catherine? Okay, that's great. Um, okay, Chad, you want to give us some background? So, Katie, you're on mute. So, Kate, so, yeah. so Katie's on the phone representing the Black Pig, and Warren from Hiawatha Bank is on the phone representing the bank. Um, we forwarded a letter that we received from them um, in regards to the $200,000 uh, business development loan that we have for Black Pig and their request to defer um, payments for. Um, I'm believing it's six months, and I, I would like to confirm that, um, what the actual request is, but it appears that the bank is agreeing to uh, make a payment referral on the first mortgage, um, and the second mortgage is with SBA, and we must be in third, I'm guessing. Um, so maybe it would be just as easy as Warren or Katie if they would like to describe what's happening here. Please, Katie, how about you? Sure. Um, so when this all began, we did defer. Uh, we do have a commercial loan with Hiawatha for the mortgage of our building that was deferred for six months. And I believe we deferred that for, we just recently deferred that a second time. Um, and then we also do have the SBA loan, which is, I think, currently being paid through the CARES Act, and then that we are also looking to defer after that. I think that goes into effect this month or next month that that terminates. Um, so we're uh, all yeah, the first payment would be, first payment you guys would be responsible for would be October right now. We, would, we, would, we have agreed to defer that. Right. Um, so just looking, obviously, our business, Primarily, I, I guess I would say probably 50-50 is the restaurant and then the banquet space. Um, our banquets is really where we're struggling the most. Uh, the restaurant in and itself is down. Um, looking through financials of this year, we're operating roughly at about 60%. Um, that's through the basically if you're taking year to year comparisons from last year we're at 60 percent in the restaurant and 37 percent in banquets 
Um, if you're just taking March through current, we're actually at 49% in the restaurant and 27% in banquets. So typically this time of year, we've had a lot of, most of our weddings have jumped ship. They're either canceling, they're moving to next year, which doesn't offer us any revenue for, for this coming year. And the ones that we are seeing, which is again, probably, you know, 40% of them maybe have stayed they are considerably down in numbers. All of our corporate that we typically book as supplemental is gone. Um, corporate's not doing anything right now. So really we're just, and looking forward to next year, we're still getting bookings, we're still getting inquiries, we're still getting people that are interested in our business and our space, but it doesn't start until May of next year. So we've got little, you know, I think we've got one event, you know, through the winter that we're hoping can just kind of you know, have us tiptoe through to then, but really we're trying to get to May. And that's what it boils down to right now. Okay. And would would the banker like to add some information here? The uh, well, we've a, we we have two mortgages right now, as the letter says: the first mortgage and the SBA second mortgage, which was used for the build out. Uh, we have agreed to. We verbally agreed to extend the four to four bear payments to basic to four bear payments to to through April of next year, which would be basically nine months from today. Um, the the Katie and Rob have added to the tax base and developed the building. The recent the most recent appraisal we have on file is May of eighteen, which shows a value of a million four, which would cover our first mortgage, second mortgage, and your your third position. Um, we have the utmost confidence in Rob and Katie and their ability to manage the business. They've done all they can, but obviously these are very difficult times. And when your business model is based on groups and the groups are groups are gone, it's 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 tough to tough to address that. The positive thing that I see is that bookings are coming back for next year. Um, They'll have time to time to adjust their business model, their practices, their um, pricing, perhaps, but uh, to generate the capital that they need to get to get through this. I I look at this. The bank looks at this at, at this situation as as kind of a bridge. Um, good people that some bad things have happened to that that need some help to get from here to there. And we're asking the the bank has made the commitment. We're asking the we're asking the redevelopment authority to to help them establish that bridge to get from here to there and to keep them in business. Can I ask a question? What is the first and second loan? What are the the, what the amounts? Um. Well, uh, first, our first mortgage is three hundred twenty-two thousand. That's a conventional loan between the bank and and the, and the Academy of Culinary Arts. The second mortgage is roughly eight hundred seventy thousand. That's an SBA loan. That is getting paid down through the one of the CARES Act provisions provided for six months of payments on the on any SBA guaranteed debt, which the last payment would be September. So they would be responsible for the August payment. So the eight seventy the eight hundred seventy thousand dollar balance it will come down with the September payment a little bit, but uh um, when you put all three together, it, it is within the that billion four appraised value. So it's it's just about right on there, right? Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Just a, a quick question on the interest. Uh, did you guys give any consideration on the interest payments? Um, we have not adjusted our interest payments right now. Um, Pearl is still subject uh, to to a hundred percent of the interest amount. Right. Uh, well, with the the SBA has made their payments, um, which has helped. The we have not entertain we 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 have not dropped the interest rates at this point. Uh, we're accruing those. Um, that would be possibly a consideration down the road that be Plan B. Um, at this point, we we you know we're forbearing payments. Um, and like I said, like I said on the first mortgage, the SBA is actually making the payments on the second mortgage. Um, we will. Um, we've not. We we haven't dropped the interest payments yet. 
I, I have one other question. What were sales in 2019? Total uh, sales? So net. Well, we don't have a... We didn't bring with us the full 2019. We basically did a comparison March through mm -hmm. August. A million five to a million six. Total sales. Correct. And, th and this year you're running closer t to half that? You were 60% of one and 39% of another or some of the different dates. So where are you through July? What are your sales? Well, we have through August. Okay, through August. Oh, okay, so net sales um, year to date nineteen was sixty five basically sixty five hundred or six hundred fifty thousand sorry and then um, this year we're at three eighty okay thank you I have a question Dave um, I'm in favor of this this, this is a no brainer but the rest of the committee may want to crucify me. I don't really care, uh, but I would go further. Um, I, frankly, I would, I would, I would forgive the six months of payments if the SBA can forgive on the SBA, lo SBA loan six months of payments. Um, the banks are almost automatically given deferral. You hardly even have to say please. Um, and given important this business is. I mean, this is critical to the future of the downtown businesses like this. And I don't think anybody could deny that businesses like the Black Pig were really truly hit the hardest in the pandemic. <laughs> Others were hit hard, but I mean, really, because you literally they were ordered to shut down. Um, and so to me, the, the loss of six months of principal and interest is a small investment to make if it helps them because they're never going to recover this year's revenues, I don't think. I mean, I shouldn't say never, but it's going to take it take banner, banner, banner years in the future to recover what's been lost this year, both in revenues and in blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, so I, I, I really think, you know, they, you know, desperate times call for desperate action. And I think this is one of those things where this is one way where the city can come up and say, you know what? Um, this is our. This is how we're showing our commitment to you making it. You know, this is our. This is our. Our. Uh, our support for you. We're. We're. We're gonna. We're gonna cancel six months of payments, and hopefully that gives you a better chance to get to May. Because they're gonna still struggle even with the deferral. That's you know, when the deferral comes, they gotta then all of a sudden start making these payments. So that's how I look at it. You may, if if you know, if the rest disagrees, I understand. <laughs> I, I just think it calls for that. I guess to follow up on Dave's point, uh, first we should understand what that number is. But I also would add one caveat is that Hiawatha seems to have a little bit of wiggle room and if REA is willing to forgo payments for six months uh, and forgive those, would the bank be willing, because their position is going to improve, be willing to forgo the interest accrual on those balances for that same um, your from a regulatory standpoint, uh, the SBA loan is difficult for us to do that. Once it's done, it's sold in the secondary market. It's difficult to to change the interest rate or terms on that. We could look at reducing the interest rate on the first mortgage. Um, I can't promise that. I can I can sit here and promise deferrals. We've agreed to commit to that. Um, with regards to the um, no interest or actually deferring interest that again from a we have regulators and depositors to answer to and that's a little difficult. Um we can be patient. Um or I, I, we, are, are improving, we are improving the bank's position as a third lender and then foregoing those payments. And it would just seem that, you know, folks need more than just a, a, a rope to help them out. I agree with Dave. I mean, you're really asking them uh, future revenues to not only make up uh, or to meet their current debt service, but then in addition to meet the additional deferrals that are out there. And it just seems like the hole can get steeper for them. And I think we've got to give them a fair and 
chance of, of being successful with this thing and the stops that we could pull out or whatever we can do to negotiate or whatever people that you have to go to, uh, you could indicate that RDA is willing to do it, but we need to, we need to get in a little bit more than just the deferral. What is the current in interest rate? Uh, I'd have to, we did this back when rates were, rates were low. I believe the SBA loan is one over prime or 4.25%. I think the other one is around 4%. So we're not, we're, That's we're being very, we're being very fair. Just so the RDA knows the original loan from us was 200,000 and the balance as of the end of last year was 117,000 as of December, 117,112. Uh, principal payments in 2020 so far have totaled just under $14,000 with $1,800 worth of interest. So that's so, what we're talking about. About 100 grand, but you're saying that the 1,400 or 14,000 is payments for nine months? Uh, payments so far in 2020. Through, through August, so it would be nine months. Right. We'd be talking, give or take, about $10,000 that we would be forgiving plus the related interest. Correct. Okay. What precedent, Chad, or issues do we come out with this? Because I like this idea as well. Uh, it's Any up issues there? <clears throat> no, it's totally up to you guys. I second Dave Gass's motion. Okay, so David's motion is to forgive six months of principal and interest payments and then resume at the end of six months, month seven. Uh, I don't know. They're telling us they can't get the cash flow positive until May. Okay. I mean, nobody's going to go out in the flu and, and in the winter season here. I, I right. think that's going to be difficult for them to get get any more banquets. And if they're starting to book stuff for weddings or whatever in May, I think you got to look at that calendar. If we're going to do this, let's do it right so they got a chance to make it. I think you should do it September, October, November, December for four months, and then the first four months of uh, of calendar uh, 2021. That would be an eight eight month eight to months. get them to May. So. They said the revenue doesn't really come back until May. Okay. I, I, I agree with what Dave, I accept that as a friendly amendment. Okay, so we are talking an eight-month forgiveness on this particular loan that was an original loan of 200000 And we are requesting politely that the bank review their interest on the original loan for them. Okay, any other comments we have? Uh, we have to do a roll call vote because we're on Skype. Um, go to meeting. Um, uh, let's start with Dave Gass. How do you vote? Yes. Harrison. Yes. Or Yes. Trey Mitchell, who has joined us. Uh, yes. James Owen. Yes. Dave Soxie. Yes. And chair votes aye. Okay, motion carries. Bless you moving forward and good luck. Thank you all very much. Hang in there, you guys. Go get them. Well, do. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration. Thank you. Okay, uh, next order of business. Um, discussion on the loan balance sheet. Um, and this arrived in your email this morning. Um, Chad, do you want to you want to start the discussion? It is a, a fairly lengthy list of of all of our loans. As you can see. So what okay. I so what I would say is um, it, it was a struggle to get this 
and I think there's some challenges with it. So um, I haven't had time to work with the finance department um, to work through because the person that did this is on vacation this week. So um, what I would say is uh, I think, so there's comments on the far right uh, side of the spreadsheet of when they're paid through, when they're last paid. Um, you know, some of this stuff I've been asking for trying to get this stuff for a number of quarters because the chair's wishes is to have this on a quarterly basis. Um, and, and yeah, so the last time we got this was the end of last year. So we're nine months into the year. Um, I like to try to, I'm not making excuses, but I like to try to get this on a more regular schedule so we can keep up on people in case they do fall behind or if they have financial problems that we can try to connect with them. So the notes that are on here, um, to be honest with you, I'm not sure about a few of them myself because I was very surprised that there, some of the people are uh, making payments, but they're so far behind. So I think what I need to do is um, we need to hold this. I don't really want to talk about it at this point. We'll put it on the next agenda. We'll share it with you again. Um, and then I will dig into some of this stuff to have a little bit more information before we go through it because frankly, I don't have the answers of what has been receded against these loans. So um, I would look for a motion to hold this and we'll circle back to uh, discussing these in more detail at our next meeting. Chad, I'll make the motion, but before I do, um, just the format of the report. Um, you know, the performing loans, I think, ought to be put in a separate category that it would be nice to categorize these things where, you know, you got the performing loans that are really non-discussion points. Then you got the loans that probably have, maybe have missed a payment or two. And then you've got some of these loans that have had a, a, a no activity on. And it would seem if we could bucketize these things so that we can concentrate on the ones that make a difference instead of having to kind of sort through this. And it's just a way of looking and saying, okay, if we're con if spending our time, let's spend our time talking about the ones that have a problem. I love the term bucketize, Mr. Harrison. I will continue to use bucketize. <laughs> and and, and I, I can- I actually agree. And um, I think it's a great idea to hold this if it's also possible, I would like to see the origination date on some of these loans so that we have an idea of when it was given and and we, we know when the balance is due. But, you know, I, I would like to see that if it's possible. Okay, Chair's going to entertain a motion to hold. Do we need a motion? Yes. I made the motion, yes. Okay, Steve Harrison moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay, who seconded? I'll uh, second. Trey, Trey seconded. Okay. Um, is there any further discussion? Yeah, want... should, for, should we have a recommendation coming back from staff based on what we just did to maybe look at some of these as well and have a recommendation for the meeting? Yes, we can do that. Okay. All right. Any further discussion? Thank you for that. Okay. All those in favor of holding, say aye. 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 Okay. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. And we will I'll take another look at it too and see what we've got. Okay, uh, Chair will entertain a motion to convene in closed section, session under exemption section 19.851E of the Wisconsin statutes where competitive bargaining reasons require a closed session. Someone move so, back. Amy moved, is there a second? Second. Second. Okay. Roll call vote. Um, Harrison. Aye. Soxie. Aye. Owen. Aye. Mitchell. Aye. Gass. Aye. Felicki Fineski votes aye. Horse. Amy, aye. 
Right. Great. David, your little logo for me says Rosa. That's why I stopped. <laughs> I noticed that. Yeah, uh, that's that's great. Nothing has changed over here, though. <laughs>